Hey everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and do a 10 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. And this will be a flip and drag. And I just sprayed my cup with uh, the WD-40 silicone spray. And I'm rubbing it in so it will release all my paint. For this project, I am going to use some black. and some copper, but I want a really pretty copper, so I'm gonna go with the Deco Art Royal Ruby. And I am gonna squirt a little bit of this in the corner, because I haven't used it in a while, just to make sure it's running good. And I'm also going to use just a touch of gold. And for my color to make it pop, I'm going to go ahead and add some Prussian blue. But I think I'm going to go with the iridescent. I want this one to be really shiny. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of black in my cup. And I'm going to follow that with the gold. I'll hit it with some copper. and some Artist Loft Grumbacher um, mix. It's a uh, Artist Loft iridescent medium mixed equal parts with Grumbacher Prussian Blue. And I will give this a swirl. I'm gonna pop it here in the middle. And I'm going to release suction, so I'm going to go ahead and pop a hole in the bottom. I'm doing a few of these um, this week because I'm working on Christmas gifts. So I thought I would just film them while I'm doing them. Makes for a great video. Okay, so we're going to start dragging this cup now. We're going to try to float it on top of the white paint. And if you watch me, you know I always go back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I want to see where I want to pull from because I want to bring something just a little bit down, not a lot though, because I kind of like this little tail here. I think I'll grab right here. Give it a different tail. <laughs> okay. Everything looks good and covered. Let me just give it a quick torch to get these air bubbles out. All right. So now I'm going to stretch it to fill up some more of this canvas. I think I'm going to come my way first. Because I can see where it's a little shallow. this way because that's where I'm shallow. It's in that one little spot where all those white cells are at. And I'll bring this over the edge. Okay. I'll bring it back down. And then we'll push it out the other way. Okay. 
Let's see what happens if I go this way. Look at that tail to the end here. It's kind of cool. All right, I don't want to tilt too much more because it'll start getting wonky. And you don't want wonky cells. Okay. So on this one, you could probably hang it vertical, but let's see what it looks like when I airbrush it. I'm kind of loving that blue with the copper. So if you haven't used an airbrush yet, but you want to buy one, um, I have a great tutorial in my playlist to show you how it's done um, for flipping drags. I always suggest watching the video and not go right in and start pulverizing your painting. Because I do go at an angle and I do pick up paint from the very edges. And I'm not liking this spot here, so I'm just going to try to push it out and then I'll dab it with white to fix it. And that usually gets rid of it. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. You don't have to blow it out. You can keep stretching it to get something you like. Um, you can use a straw and blow out little edges as well. And then I'm going to turn it around so I can do the other side. And wipe your hands so you don't get your airbrush all dirty. <laughs> There's my little OCD tip for the day. that blue but once I get the blue out I'm going to go back and push the copper out too And just let that set for a second. Okay, I'm back. My FedEx guy brought a package I had to sign for, so I had to put you on pause. <laughs> so, um, a little bit did develop while I was gone. I noticed more cells through here. But we will continue pushing this out. And this blue here, I do want to fix that because I don't like that now that I'm looking at it. So I'm going to scrape this right off. And I'll touch it up with some white. This will all dry flat. This paint is very thin. So we shouldn't have any problems. 
but I think it looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it with the airbrush, but I do want to torch. When you're airbrushing, you will um, create a few more bubbles, so you want to make sure you get everything out of there. So that looks good. I am liking that. So if you have not subscribed yet, click below. Click on that bell and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. Um, we have our Paraj Posse. And I also have a Christina Welch art page. Um, get your Stone Coat Art Coat Resin with our new code. Uh, our new code is Posse, P-O-S-S-E. And use that at checkout. You'll get $30 off an $80 order. Shop with us on Etsy. We're running a big sale. Till December 12th that'll be my final mailing date so if you're looking for gifts um, get them now uh, the sale a lot of them are 20% off so get them while I, while you can get them um, we will be doing another auction uh, in December um, we haven't decided on a date yet but I will post that on both of my Facebook pages and I will make an announcement on a future video and we also have the fan mailbox. Uh, that address is below in the links. And also, if you want to get in on our sponsor giveaway, uh, we will be drawing on January 2nd. Um, the PayPal link is below to make a donation to the channel. And all of the money that gets donated to our channel is used for supplies. Um, if you've watched our studio tour, you can see all the canvas that we buy and the paint that we buy. It does not get wasted. It does not go to anything else but to the business itself. So if you want to get in on a giveaway, the prizes are um, a painting of your choice if I still have it. Um, usually I just say go to the Etsy shop and you can pick one out there and that's your prize. So, And we also do some jewelry and some coasters as well. But um, check out all those links. Join us back here uh, Monday nights at 9. We do a live um, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time every Monday night. Come join the fun. We have a blast. Um, we have some great moderators that like to crack jokes. They know who they are. <laughs> and um, we just laugh quite a bit and have fun. And we do try new techniques out. So we will see you guys very soon on the next one. Bye now.